everybody, I'm Karen, librarian here at the Iowa City Public Library, bringing story time to you. So today I thought we'd read about butterflies because I've noticed in my garden I have lots of different kinds of butterflies flying all over the place and they're getting ready to migrate. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, monarchs because I have a lot of um, milkweed in my garden and I brought some to show you. Here's the milkweed plant. It's not doing so well because we haven't gotten a lot of rain. So they're kind of curling up. But this is the milkweed pods. And here are the seeds. And usually when they're nice and dry, they come, they fluff out. They're really pretty. And then what they do is when the wind picks them up, they fly away and they land someplace, maybe in somebody else's garden. And then all of a sudden they've got milkweed. And they're very prolific. They grow a lot in your garden. And, the, and monarch butterflies love to eat these. They love to munch on them. And then they hang their little chrysalis from them. So I had about five of them in my garden this year. That was really cool. OK, so I have a little song. And it goes like this. It's Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar. And you can crawl them up your arms like this. And it goes like this. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar crawling on the ground. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar that never makes a sound. Shh. Soon you will be sleeping softly lullaby. Then when you are waking you will be a butterfly. I can sing it again. It's a really sweet song. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar crawling on the ground. Fuzzy Wuzzy Caterpillar never makes a sound. Shh. Soon you will be sleeping softly lullaby. Then when you are waking you will be a butterfly. Really nice song. OK, so now I have a butterfly book. It's called A Book of Colors, Butterfly by Peter Horick. And you can see all the beautiful colors this butterfly has. I see some pink and green and yellow and blue and orange. Lots of fun things. And when I open up the book, I see even more little critters. I see, you know what this is? I don't know if you can see it from there, but this is a, uh, a snail. And I've got a spider and a pink worm and a ladybug and a bee and another green beetle and a blue dragonfly. And all of these little insects will be in the book. It's called Butterfly, Butterfly by Peter Horak. One day, Lucy saw a beautiful butterfly. She played with it and chased it all around the garden. The next day, Lucy couldn't find the butterfly anywhere. Where could it be? <clears throat> I don't see it in the flowers. I don't see it beyond the ball or at the tree. But she did find a pink earthworm wriggling along the ground. A brown spider busy spinning her web. It's a nice web. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle. And a family of very spotty red ladybugs scurrying around. How many do we see here? One, two, three. She saw a snail with an orange shell slithering. I still don't see the butterfly, do you? Three purple caterpillars munching a leaf. One, two, three. And a shimmering blue dragonfly. And a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing about. Bzzz. But Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere. 
She looked and she looked. She's looking in the pot, in the watering can, up the tree, no butterfly. Lucy lay down in the cool grass to wait. Then high in the sky, <gasps> there it was, her colorful, beautiful butterfly. Look how pretty that butterfly is. I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna count to three again. You can see it again. One, two, three, boop, there he is. And that's Butterfly, Butterfly by Peter Horay. Okay, so I brought with me, I have a butterfly. Can you guess what kind it is? It's a monarch. Yay, he's flying all around. And this little song goes with it. It goes like this, butterfly, butterfly, flying high. Butterfly, butterfly, in the sky. Butterfly, butterfly, take with me with you. Up, up, up in the sky, so blue. I'll sing it again. Butterfly, butterfly, and you can use your hands. You can do this. You can cross them over. You can put your thumbs together. Or if you want to be a butterfly and, and get up and fly in your house, in your living room, or wherever you are, you can do that. You can be a butterfly. And it goes like this. Butterfly, butterfly, flying high. Butterfly, butterfly, up in the sky. Butterfly, butterfly, take me with you. Up, up, up in the sky so blue. Okay, I'm gonna put my butterfly over here. And I have a story about the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little green, a little egg lay on a leaf. And there's the egg. And the next day, the sun was warm and the egg popped open and there was a little caterpillar and he started looking for some food. There's the caterpillar. On Monday, he ate through one red apple and he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, one, two, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. On, fr on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. And you guessed it, he was still hungry. On <clears throat> Saturday, he ate through one chocolate piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one piece of Swiss cheese, and one slice of salami. He was still hungry. He ate through a lollipop, cherry pie, a sausage, a cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that day he had a big tummy ache. And he wasn't hungry anymore. So the next day was Sunday and he ate through one nice green leaf and he felt much better. And now he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a great big fat caterpillar. So the next day he spun himself in a chrysalis and he stayed in there for more than two weeks. And he stayed and he stayed and he stayed until one day he nibbled a little hole and he popped out and he turned into a beautiful butterfly. And that's the very hungry caterpillar. All right, I want to show you one little book here. It's called Caterpillar to Butterfly. And there's beautiful monarch butterfly. And they like to drink nectar from the flowers. And there's the flower. 
And there's the A, and it looks big in this picture, but it's really very tiny. And there's a little tiny caterpillar. I don't know if you can see it. But he popped out of the egg. And there he is. He's on the milkweed. He's eating the leaves. And he's munching, 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 munching. And now he's a really big, fat caterpillar. And he attaches himself to a twig. And using the pad of his silk, he, milk, he makes silk. And then he's going to make a chrysalis. So he starts at the bottom, by his head rather, and then works his way all the way up. And there he is, almost ready to come out. Because after the chrysalis is green, you can see it turns clear and you can see his wing right through it. And the new butterfly crawls out of the chrysalis and then he hangs upside down because his wings are folded and they have to dry. And there he is. He stretches his wings so they grow stronger. And then, if I can turn the page, he's off finding food. This is a really sweet book. And there are all the stages of the caterpillar, of the egg to the caterpillar to the chrysalis to the butterfly. Okay. Thank you all for joining me today. I'm going to show you my butterfly one more time. Let's sing that song. Butterfly, butterfly, flying high. Butterfly, butterfly, up in the sky. Butterfly, butterfly, take me with you. Up, up, up in the sky, so blue. I'm going to let butterfly say bye to you. Bye. See you soon.